I want to ask you to turn with me in your Bible to Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. We're going to start reading from verse 6 of Isaiah chapter 55. And this is what it says. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. And it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. This morning we want to take a look at the different ways that we can pray uh, that is not aligned with the will of God for us so that we could learn how to pray more effectively. So today we want to learn how to pray more effectively. And so we're going to take at some of the things that the Lord is saying concerning the way that we pray. As we continue to focus on our prayer lives in this last week of May. Sometimes when we pray... We not only pray for God to intervene for us, but sometimes when we pray, we tell Him how to answer us, don't we? We tell Him how to answer, we tell Him when to answer, and we tell Him where to answer. So in other words, we think that we know better than God, and so we direct Him on exactly what to do. But the scripture tells us in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8 that God's ways are not our ways. So when we pray, we have a choice to make. Are we going to rely on God's ways? Are we going to rely on His plan for us? Or are we going to dictate to Him how He should answer that prayer, when He should answer that prayer, and where he should answer it. And a lot of times, honestly, we don't even recognize that that we are being dictators to God, that we are actually commanding him to do certain things for us. So God just wants us to be cognizant. He wants us to be aware that when we pray, we always ought to pray that his will be done. We ask for that which we desire, there's nothing wrong in asking, but in the end, we must make sure that we ask according to his will and according to his purpose. Sometimes we ask God to do the impossible or that which he cannot, he just cannot do. We ask God to work in ways that he doesn't work, in other words. So, your God is a, a merciful God. He is, he is a good God. He's a compassionate God. And so, there are certain things that He just cannot do. He cannot help with adultery. He cannot help with lying. He cannot help with stealing. He cannot help with murder. And so, we cannot ask God to align with the things that are not aligned with Him in our lives. And so we cannot ask God to bless us, to bless our greed, to bless our violent temper, for example. There are certain things that we cannot ask God to do because God is a good God and He can only do good. He cannot do that which is evil. I, I hear a lot of, uh, of people who somebody called me up uh, recently actually and, and um I've gotten several of these calls, and they, they called me and asked me to pray that uh, God would cause them to win the lottery. 
And of course, you know, God is not, you, we cannot ask God to, to help us to gamble better. We cannot ask God to help us to steal better. To, to help us, Lord, I, I know this man is married, but he's for me. Or I know this woman, Lord God, is, she, she's, uh, she's serving you in, and she's, she's happily married, but I know that she's for me. That's not the God that we serve. He cannot do it. There are certain things that He will not do. Sometimes we even ask God selfishly and for God to hurt others. We ask selfishly. Sometimes we ask, we ask, and if God answered, it would hurt somebody else. So he's going to say, you know what? I don't think this prayer is going to be answered today. I know that that's what you had wanted, but you know what? It's going to hurt somebody else that I love. And so, therefore, I can't give you the answer to that prayer. And so we have to be very cognizant, very aware that it is not every prayer that we lift up to God that will be answered, especially when these prayers are not aligned with who God is. The the scripture tells us in James chapter 4 and verse 3, you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss. In other words, you're not asking for the right thing. And so how can I give it to you? If it's not right, the, another translation says, even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. And so therefore, God is a God who is so loving and caring that even in the things that we ask for, he doesn't just give it to us when he knows that it is wrong for us. And so he will not give you that which is going to harm you. And so when we pray, we need to be aware that we need to ask for the things that are aligned with the plan of God for our lives. Sometimes we pray too small or we pray too low when God wants to give us something better. He wants to give us something bigger, something greater. But yet our prayers are so limited uh, that God is looking at that prayer. He's saying, are you serious? That's all you're asking for, my son? That's all you're asking for, my daughter? Really? I want to give you so much more than what you're asking for. Elijah was so discouraged. We saw that last week that he prayed to die. He said, Lord, take my life. But God had a better plan for Elijah. He said to him in 2 Kings 2.11, he says, How about going to heaven with a chariot of fire rather than dying in your misery? You see, sometimes we limit that which we, we are expecting God to do for us, even in the prayers that we offer unto him. So God wants to bless you with all sorts of abundance and you're asking him for pennies. He wants to give you the desire of your heart and so much more, but we're, we're timid and so we, we don't even put forth that which we are really want from the Lord. Instead, we hold back because we, we kind of live in that fear that you know, I'm, not, I'm not good enough, that, that you know, maybe God's plan for me is, is not really uh, what I expect. Uh, of myself because you know, my expectations are so low and so therefore God's expectations must be low as well and so we oftentimes pray and we limit our prayers that way and then God says you know what because of the type of prayer that you offer up unto me I will not answer it quite exactly that way because I have a better plan for your life I have a better plan for you Sometimes God will say, you know what, I have a better idea for you. When we tell him how to answer our prayers, exactly what to do. He, he says, no, I won't exactly do it that way because I will answer in another way, in a better way for you. And so that's why we are encouraged with scripture verses such as 
being anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, we put our request before God. And when we do that, He may not answer the prayer in exactly the way that you want Him to answer, but that's because He has a better plan for you. That's because He doesn't want to answer a prayer that may hurt somebody else that you may not even be aware of. Maybe, you know, he doesn't want to answer that prayer because it's not a prayer that he can answer. It's it's not in his nature to do such a thing. It's not in his nature to lie. It's not in his nature to steal. And so we have to be very aware when we pray to God that that which we are praying for that which we're believing Him for is aligned with His will. Many times when we pray, we find ourselves stuck in history. God is not a God who lives in history. He's a God who lives in the present and looks to the future. And so we can go back and undo some of the things that have been done in our past. But many of us, we find ourselves living in our past and we praying in the past. God says, no, I want you to look to your future because I have a bright hope for you. I have plans for you to prosper, plans for you to have a future that is bright. And so therefore, if you go back into your past to pray, I I don't live in the past. I don't live in history. And so what must we do? We must learn to accept the history and the circumstances of our lives, but we must also move on into the future, into the plans that God has for us. And so we want to make sure that when we pray, as we, as we commit to praying effectively this morning, that when we pray, that we also make sure that the sin in our lives is removed. Sometimes, you know, we ask God to bless the sinful actions that we do and and to bless us in spite of our sin. But you see, we we can't base our prayers on 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 thin air. We have to make sure that we have a base, that we have a foundation upon which we are issuing up our prayers unto him. That foundation is a clean heart. We have to come before God and and ask Him to cleanse us. We have to be repentant so that we are anchored and rooted in Christ Jesus so that we have a solid base upon which we can pray. And that solid base, that anchor, that rock, that foundation is Christ Jesus. And so, we need to recognize that God's plans for us are so far greater than our own plans for ourselves. We're going to go back to that scripture verse in Isaiah. And we're going to stand on that word today. We're going to stand on God's promise today. And 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 we're gonna we're gonna say, God, I I know that your ways are not my ways. I know that your thoughts are not my thoughts. I know that you have so much better for me than I even have planned for myself. And so, therefore, God, I'm going to trust in you. Yes, I'm gonna offer up my prayer to you. But if that prayer is not aligned with your will for me, if it's not aligned with your purpose for my life, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Because, O oh Lord, I know that my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts. My ways are nothing like your ways. Your ways are far beyond anything that I could imagine. And so therefore, God, let your will be done. And so here's what we're going to do next. We're elevating our prayer life in this month of May, and we only have just about a week left. 
I want to ask you this morning to come before God. Perhaps you've been praying and praying and praying for something that has not been in the will of God for your life. We're going to pray this morning. Father, let your will be done. Lord, let your will be done in my life today. Lord, let your will be done in the lives of my loved ones. Lord, I know that I have been praying, but Lord God, you have a better plan, Lord, for me. You have a better plan for my sons. You have a better plan for my daughter. Lord, you have a better plan. So, Father, let your will be done, not my will. Not my way, O oh God, but let your will be done in my life today. I'm going to, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to allow you to going to pray together. Let us pray together. Father, I pray, O oh God, that your will be done. Go ahead, somebody, open up your mouth and pray with me. Let your will be done, Heavenly Father, as I seek you this morning, O oh God. I don't want, Lord, to walk away. From your, from your purpose, for my life, oh God, let your will be done, let your will be done, let your will be done. I don't want, Lord God, to walk away, Heavenly Father, I don't want my own plans, Lord, to trump your plans, to supersede your plans. Let your will be done, let your will be done, let your will be done. I don't want, Lord God, to walk away from your ways, oh God, so let your will be done. Let your will be done in my life, oh God. I don't want, oh God, to pray, oh God, to hurt others. So let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, oh God. Your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. So Lord, I pray, oh God, that Lord, that your plans will supersede my plans. That your plans for my life, your plans for my children, Lord God, your plans for my household, for my loved ones, your plans for that ministry. Lord God, will, Lord, will be imparted upon us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray, oh Lord, that you would grant unto us something better than we expected. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Oh Lord, in our lives today, oh Lord, we know that you have great plans for us. We know, oh God, that your plans for us are fast exceeds the, our plans for ourselves. So let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Oh, Lord, I pray for divine intervention this morning, Father, for the things that we have been lifting up to you all month long. Some of us have been praying for years. Lord God, I pray even right now that you will change our attitudes towards our prayers, that rather, God, that we will pray in your will and in your purpose for our lives. Let your will be done today. Let your will be done, oh, God, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, sometimes when we pray, oh Lord, we know that your, your ideas for us are better than our own ideas. Oh Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done, oh God. Lord, we don't want to break any of your rules, Lord, in, the, in that the answers, oh God, that, that, that we ask for. So Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done in the life of your son today. Let your will be done in the life of your daughter this morning, Father. Lord God, thy will be done today. Thy will be done today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. And we magnify your holy name for that which you have done in our midst. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you this morning. You've been trusting and believing God to take you out of a certain situation that you're in. Mm -hmm. I want to specifically pray for you. Dial star five to raise your hand. You have been trusting God to take you out of a situation that you're in right now. In the name of Jesus. I want to first pray for, for you. Yes, I see the hands that are being raised right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Heavenly Father, I come to you even right now. In Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you. Oh, Lord God, for you are a good God. You are a gracious God. You are a kind God. Father, you see the hands 
that have been lifted up to you. Lord God, I pray that if there is anything, Lord, that is not in your will, Lord, even as these prayers have been lifted up to you, I pray, oh God, that you would educate us this morning. Lord God, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your voice this morning, Father. And so, Lord, I pray for your son. I pray for your daughter, even right now, that, Lord God, that you will provide that word of wisdom, that word of knowledge, Heavenly Father. I pray, even right now, oh God, that your plans will be manifested in your son, that it will be manifested in your daughter, in the mighty name of Jesus, for your honor and for your glory. Father, I thank you for making it happen today for your child. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 God's will will be manifested in your life today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, it's time for us to prophesy. It's time for us to call forth the things that we are expecting God to uh, do for us today. We're going to speak it out. The scripture tells us that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so, therefore, that which we speak, that which we declare and decree, is that which will come to pass in our lives. Hallelujah. And so therefore, here's what we're going we're gonna to declare and decree. Hallelujah, this morning. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. It says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. We have heard that word this morning, so we're going to seek after God. It says, Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him while he is near. The New Living Translation. We're going to seek him while he may be found. We're going to call upon him while he, he is near today. We are changing our attitudes from this point forward. We're going to draw close to God. We're going to draw near to him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We're going to, we're going to stand up and we're going to, we're going to receive that which is pouring out. In our lives today, by seeking Him, by living in His will, by living in His purpose. And so therefore, hallelujah, I declare and I decree that from this point forward, I'm starting on Isaiah 55 and verse 6, I will seek the Lord while He may be found. I will call upon Him while He is near. In other words, we're going to put our plans in His hands. This morning, we're going to seek him while he may be found. We're going to call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. Everything that we have to do, we're not going to do it based on our own will, but based upon God's will for us. And so we will seek him while he may be found. We will call upon him while he is near. Star five to raise your hand. I declare and decree today, Pastor Avenel, I'm going to seek the Lord. While he may be found, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call upon him while he is near. Star five to raise your hand. We're gonna start with our sister Moody's. Go ahead, my sister. Good morning, Pastor Avenel. I declare and decree that I will seek the Lord while he may be found. I will call upon him while he is near. Let us declare that over my life, every era, and over my children and my grandchildren. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, amen, amen. And as you seek him today, God will grant unto you everything that you've asked for and more in the name of Jesus as you seek him fervently this morning. Go ahead, my sister Althea. Good morning. I, Althea, declare and decree that according to Isaiah 55 and 6, that I will seek the Lord while he may be found, and I will call upon him while he is near. I pray this over my daughter and my grandson as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. We stand in agreement with you, my sister Althea. Hallelujah. That God's will be done, even as you seek him while he may be found, as you call upon him while he is near. I, I speak that into your life, into cases, into Caleb's. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Go ahead, my sister Dolores. Greetings, Pastor, and 
And I'd like to thank the Lord for this word this morning. I declare the decree, the decree Isaiah 55 and 6. I will seek the Lord while he may be found, and I will call upon him while he is near. And I declare the peace over my daughter, Natasha, Jane, and Carter, and my grandkids, and my siblings, especially Robert, into this ministry in Jesus' name. I pray. Thank you. Amen. I stand touch and agree with you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead, my sister, Sisley. Good morning, everyone, on the prayer line this morning. I decree and declare Isaiah 55, 6. I will seek the Lord, and I will seek, I will seek the Lord, and I will call upon him while he is near. In Jesus' name, I speak that over my children and my family in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We're going to commit, we are committing this morning to seeking the Lord while he may be found and calling upon him while he is near. I stand in agreement with you, my sister, precisely, for you and for your entire family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Go ahead, Alicia. Good morning, everyone. I declare a decree this morning, and I'm standing on Isaiah 55 and 6. I will seek the Lord while he may be found. I will call upon him while he is near. I speak this over my daughters, Alyssa and Chastity, over Terrence and his family, oh, over Ray and, I, and my I, granddaughter, I, Sophia and Alice, and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I stand touch and agree with you this morning in Jesus' name that you will seek the Lord today. While he may be found, you will call upon him while he is near in the name of Jesus. That God will exceed your expectations in everything that you do in the mighty name of Jesus. And that his will will be done, will be fulfilled for you, for Chastity, Elisa, Ray, Terrence, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. Go ahead, my brother Victor. I stand on, uh, I, uh, I declare and I decree, I stand on Isaiah. 55 and 6, I will seek the Lord and he will be found and he'll answer everything I need by his will in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 I stand in agreement with you, my brother Victor, in Jesus' mighty name, that even as you seek him, hallelujah, that you will find him, hallelujah, as you call upon him, that he will hear you today in the name of Jesus. We're seeking the Lord while he may be found. And we are calling upon him while he is near today. In Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead, my brother Ola. Good morning, Pastor Avner. I'm standing on Isaiah 55, verse 6. And declare and decree that I will seek the Lord while he may be found. And I will call upon him while he is near. I declare this for myself, for my family and household. And all my loved ones, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Star five to raise your hand. My brother Ola, I speak over your life right now in the name of Jesus. That as you seek the Lord, hallelujah, you will find him. As you draw near to him this morning, as you call upon him, he will draw near to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with you. For you, for your your place of work, for your businesses that in which you are involved, in the name of Jesus, for your family, for your family's children, in the name of Jesus, the children and the grandchildren, and the generations to come, that even as you seek the Lord, hallelujah, you will find him. Even as you call upon him, he will hear you today, in the mighty name of Jesus, and that his will, his purpose, will be fulfilled in your life today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let the children of God say, Amen. Go ahead and say, Amen, Amen, Amen. It is done. It is completed for me today. In Jesus' mighty name. What a joy it is to be able to gather saints of God together. Hallelujah. And to really learn from the Lord, to listen to His voice and to have him incline his ear unto us today. I want to open up the line right now for anyone with a prayer request. You want us to stand in agreement with you this morning. Any prayer request, we will take those right now. Dial star 5 to raise your hand if you have a prayer request that you want us to lift up to the Lord on your behalf today. We want to pray this morning for our families today. Praise God. We're going to, we're going to, 
stand in agreement today for all families. Many of you are on the line. You are, you are interceding. You are standing in the gap for your family. Many will have gotten up and they would have gone about their business and they would not have prayed. But God placed you here specifically, uh, strategically for that purpose and for that reason. To lift up the family to God in Jesus' name. So go ahead, lift up your hand right now even as we pray. Heavenly Father, we lift up our families to you. Oh Lord God, we can't do anything on our own. We cannot protect them on our own. We cannot save them on our own. Lord God, but you can. And so Heavenly Father, I pray for those in our families who have not yet received you in their lives. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will cause a turnaround to happen for them. Father, I pray for those in our family, O oh Lord God, who once knew you and turned away. I pray, O oh God, for revival starting in our very homes this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that by your power and by your might that you will move mightily in our families, that your will, O oh God, will be done will be accomplished for families today. Lord, I pray for divine protection over every family member in the name of Jesus. As I lift up this wonderful church family as a point of contact for every family today, in the name of Jesus, I pray, O oh God, that your hands of divine protection will be over them today. I pray, O oh God, that you will supply every need according to your riches in glory, in the name of Jesus, that there will be no lack, no want, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, I pray that you will come through for us today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for that which you have accomplished. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let the children of God say, Amen. Go ahead. Amen, Amen, and Amen. Praise God. My sister Victoria, if you're available, uh, we want you to go ahead and Close us out in prayer this morning, my sister Victoria. Praise God. We give God praise. We give Him thanks. We give Him honor today for that which He has done for us. I want to remind you, folks, children of God, that we're going to be back on on the 8 a.m. session this morning. At 8 a.m. this morning, in about uh, 45 minutes, we'll have another session if you want to join back in or invite somebody else to join 12 noon and 8 p.m. this evening. 8 a.m., 12 noon and 8 p.m. And as the Lord has laid on your heart to be a blessing to the work, uh, to give your tithe, your offering, so your seed, uh, our website is fulfillchurch.com. You also can visit uh, uh, us on, or give, I should say, on using Zelle or PayPal, office at wrcm.us, or the cash app, look for the handle FL Church. Go ahead, my sister Victoria. Thank you, Pastor Avenal. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise, with the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you on today, God. Lord, we just bless your holy name, Lord. Oh, God, you've been so good to us, Lord. And we just want to thank you on this morning, God. We thank you for the word, God. We thank you for the word on today, God. 
oh God, that strengthens us, Lord. We bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you for just being so good and wonderful to us, Lord. God, we thank you for providing for us, Lord. Oh God, providing in every area of our lives, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for the fresh manner that has come forth this morning, God, and each and every morning on this line, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for how you're strengthening our inner man, Lord. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you on today, God. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the praise, God. We honor you, Lord, that you've given us an opportunity to come uh, and approach the throne of grace again, Lord. God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you that you've allowed us to assemble ourselves one more time, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you on this morning, God. We give you all the glory, Lord. And as we depart this place, but not your presence, God. We ask that you continue to go uh, 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 go with us, each and every one of us today, God. Uh, oh, God, help us to meditate on your word, God. Uh, oh, God, help us to, 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 to think on your word, Lord. Uh, oh, God, help us to wrap the word around our hearts, Lord, uh, that we may not sin against you, Lord. Uh, we thank you on today, God, uh, for being a merciful God. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, for extending your mercy to us once again, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Lord. Uh, for the pastor of this church, Lord. Uh, oh God, we thank you, Lord. Uh, oh God, for the for, for the moving of the Holy Spirit, God. Uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, for the anointing, God, that you're placing on our lives, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, for how you've called us out and separated us, God, uh, to do a work for you, Lord. Uh, we thank you on today, God. Uh, we give you all the glory, Lord. Uh, continue to strengthen our leaders, Lord. Uh, remember our nation today, God. We thank you for the salvation of our family members, Lord. We thank you for the word that's going forth in the world, Lord. We thank you. We thank you today, God. Oh, God, you are wonderful, Lord. You are a perfect God, and you do all things well, Lord. And we thank you, God. We give you all the glory and the honor and the praise. Oh, God, we thank you. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts, Lord, be acceptable in your sight, Lord. Oh, Oh, Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Hallelujah. We pray this prayer. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Adam. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank God for you, my sister Victoria. Saints of God, I just want to thank God so much that we were able to open up together in prayer this morning. What a joy. What an honor. What a privilege. We look forward to seeing you back on. Remember, our next session is in about 40 minutes. Then again, at 12 noon, with Mother Ferdinand and our sister Victoria. And also at 8 p.m. with uh, all Eastern time with uh, Pastor Tim and, uh, and the rest of the prayer warriors. God bless you, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm going to unmute the line right now, allow you to greet.